Alright, I got a little time today, so let's throw together a little video on something that might be educational, or at least informational for some of you guys. So, if you know the first thing about Linux, you probably know that there's this command called man that you can run on the terminal. So if you want to learn about any kind of terminal command, let's say the command ls, you can just type in man ls, and you get a full manual page that you can read and learn all the stuff about any kind of command. Okay, You can even run man on itself and learn about man and all the different options you can use with it. Okay. So here's the thing, maybe there are some people, I'm going to throw together a hypothetical scenario because we're going to do something involving pipes, involving lots of fun, standard input, standard output, and hopefully it'll clarify some things uh, for some people watching. But here's what we're going to do in this video, okay? Uh, let's say instead of, let's say I'm bored by reading manuals on the terminal. Here's what I want to do, okay? I want a user interface where I have a, a menu of every manual installed on my computer, I want to be able to select one of those, and then I want that manual to appear not on the terminal, but in a PDF, okay? That's what I want to do. And in fact, I want to do it in one line, one line of shell script. I want to be able to do all of that. That is easily possible with pipes. The, that's one of the easiest things to do. Just standard input, standard output, that's all we're going to do. Uh, so, um, now if you watch the channel, you probably already know some of the uh, programs I'm going to use to do this. Uh, two of them in particular, so I recommend you install these programs because they're great. One of them is D-Menu. Uh, so D-Menu, if you don't know the first thing about D-Menu, let me show you. Let's say we have a file with uh, you know two lines. Here's the first one, line one, and here's the second one. And you can pipe a file like that into D-Menu, and it's going to give you a menu of the each of the lines. And you can start typing one in, let's say two press enter and it'll print that out the standard output. Now, dmenu by itself is useless, but it's one of the one of the most useful programs in the world, okay? And we'll talk about why. Well, no, I won't talk about why. I'll show you why in this video. Um, and at the by the same token, there's a PDF viewer that is called um, let me actually just uh, show you what packages I have installed. Uh, there's a PDF viewer called Zathura, and the reason why Zathura is a great PDF viewer is because it can read from standard input, and I'll show you why that's great in a second. But uh, So the two programs you should have installed if you want to follow along are Dmenu and Zathura, although if you're a true subscriber, you probably already have both of these installed, because they're honestly fantastic programs. I'm not, inst I'm not telling you to install them just for this command or something, but uh, they're fantastic, and I will show you why. Okay, so anyway, back to man. So let's say, uh, so again, we want to have a menu of all the manuals on our computer and uh, select one of those and we want a PDF of that to pop up and we want to do it in one line. So let's start by getting a list of all the manuals on our computer. Now, one of the op if you type in man man, you will know that one of the options to man is K. And this is, um, so basically the idea behind it is, let's say we want to find something that has to do with LaTeX, okay? You can type in K and then LaTeX, and all the manuals that have LaTeX, either in the title or, or description, will pop up. Um, now, ma uh, man K is actually the same thing as this other command, apropos, um, but, you know, some I always use man K, because, I don't know, why not? Um, so that's a way of getting a bunch of manuals, but you can just give period, to print out every single manual. So that actually gives us our list of all of our manuals automatically. Don't have to worry about that whatsoever. So now we want a menu of those. And as I showed you just a second ago, that's really easy. We can just pipe that into D menu. So if I pipe the output, this list of manuals into D menu, what's gonna happen is D menu is gonna give us a, a menu here with, with all of the manuals in it. Now it's not very visible now. I mean, we can type something and we can type in DWM and select it. Uh, but dmenu has an option, L, that allows us to uh, sort all of the uh, options, I guess, either vertically or horizontally, however you construe that. But let's say we give L the, uh, you know, the uh, parameter of 30, that'll give us a list of 30 of these options. And again, we can type in like delete or LaTeX or anything else, and we can select one of these. And notice once I select one, it prints the standard output. Okay, that's great. Okay, so keep this on one side. I'm going to move this to another workspace. So the other thing I want to do is, let's say hypothetically, let's say hypothetically, we've chosen one of those man pages, uh, or let's say you know we just have the man page for LS. How do I view that as a PDF? Well, one thing that you could learn by running man man 
is that it has an option capital T. And what that means, if I just run man, instead of running man ls that gives me this view here, I can run man capital T PDF ls. And what that does is it actually prints the manual to ls to standard output in PDF format. So this thing that you saw right in front of you, that's what a PDF looks like in text form. So the nice thing about that is we can pipe that directly into Zathura. And if you give Zathura this, um, if you give it hyphen, that means a read from standard input. So if I just run this, I now have the man page for LS as a PDF. Okay, now this is, there is not a PDF of this man page on your computer. That's not what this is. It's that man is converting it real time into a PDF. It actually goes, actually you can see down here, it's actually a temporary file is how Zathura reads it in and it displays as a PDF in Zathura. Okay, so that's great. That's how you get a PDF, okay? Um, so let's combine what we did just a second ago with this. Um, oh, and I should say, I, I might've mentioned at the beginning of the video, but Zathura is a very modular PDF reader. You are gonna wanna install, uh, I mean, if you're outputting it as PDF, you are gonna wanna install one of the PDF uh, reading modules, but you can also, you could, you know, output it as P PS, as PostScript or something like that, if you wanna use PostScript instead, but just be aware of that. Okay, so let's combine these two commands. Um, so again, back here, so if we select like LaTeX, or let's say we select Bibber, it's gonna output this entire line, but really what we want is just the name of the manual. So instead of running all the, well, after running all this, that is gonna give us this entire line, I'm gonna pipe it into awk, and I'm gonna tell awk only print the first word in that line. Okay, so now if I run it and I select Bibber, now there's only this one uh, line here, or this one word here, okay? So now let's combine these two commands, okay? So here's our first one. Actually, well, I'll just get rid of them because, you know, it's too much stuff on the screen. So we're gonna combine those with xargs. So xargs is a command that ca can take standard input and can, can create a new command with that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run xargs, I'm gonna run it with the r option. You don't actually have to. That just means if xargs gets nothing, it does nothing. Um, so xargs, and then you are going to actually, let me uh, make it a little smaller so things can fit together. We're gonna run that same man command. So we're gonna say man tpdf. And so what's gonna happen is xargs is gonna read the standard input. If we choose bibber, it's gonna be bibber. And it's gonna run man tpdf on bibber. And we can pipe that into Zathura like we did just a second ago. You all also have to type it right though. Okay, so once we do that, now we have this menu here, so let's say again pick Bibber, and now that is going to display our PDF, okay? So with one little line here, we have basically taken a list of all the manuals, we have given a user interface for the user to select an option, and now we have a result, we actually have the PDF, okay? So let's actually, uh, so you could take this and make it a function in your Bash RC. Let's actually, uh, you know, I'm the kind of person I like, uh, you know, I actually don't like making functions. There are reasons for that. I like making independent scripts for something. So let's make a, a name this script something like uh, mansplain, okay? So let's say shell script. And we'll just write it in here. I'll rewrite it just to make sure. So print out all the manu mans. Actually, let's uh, get some syntax highlighting. So print out all the manuals. Give me a D menu of all those manuals. Let me select one of them take that one of them and then print the first word of it. Then give that to xargs and uh, create a command man tpdf with that standard input. The standard input's gonna appear at the end here and then pipe that into Zathura. Okay, now one of the reasons I actually like making independent scripts is actually because of xargs because xargs can it doesn't read your bash aliases. It's, it creates some kind of sub shell or something, it, but it can read your uh, uh, independent script. So anyway, so made this little script. Let's actually, um, let's make this executable. So now, you know, let's say I, I get rid of this. All right, I can run mansplain and it'll give me this little thing here. So let's say I wanna learn about ST and that manual page now pops up, okay.
So that's basically all you have to do. Um, so why did I do this video? Is it because I particularly, now this might be useful useful for some of you guys, you might want to have PDFs displayed, you know, for man pages, maybe you want, might want that. I don't, I don't particularly need it. Uh, but my point here is um, just the kind of things that you can do, just you, again, this is literally just one line of shell script, POSIX compliant shell script. All it is is pipes, that is, um, you are just taking one command and editing that text until you get a command that you want, and then you run that command, and that's all it is. So, um, you know, if you want to get good at, at least the command line doing, you you know, shell scripting and other stuff, uh, the biggest recommendation I can give you is just get good, you know, ha have sort of a pipe-like mentality. And once you have that, it actually all becomes easier. Um, so anyway, that, that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Throw whatever suggestions you have in the comments, and yeah, have a good one.